and we used to listen, watch the cricket right here in that stand. And when Gavaska came in 1971, all of us were there looking on at his performance. And as a result, that inspired me to write the song because he was such a great player of fast bowling here in the Caribbean. Well, because they, they, they're very excited about it here, there's a great population of Indian people in, in Connecticut. You know this. There's an Indian cricket league that goes on in Connecticut. And they honored Sunil Gavaska eight years ago, and I was flown up to sing the song in front of him. And tomorrow night at the Hilton, I'll be doing the same at the dinner. Well, in those days, the, the Oval will be full of people looking on at Test Cricket because Test Cricket was alive and, and healthy at, in those days. So that um, the crowds will come, people will come with their instruments and their steel band and whatever to make noise, to make music while the, the, the match is on. So um, those were the golden days. You had Gary Sobers and um, uh, Rohan Kanai and Wes Hall and um, Michael Holden and Andy Roberts and all the people who were at, at, at the same time with Sunil Gavaskar. A lovely day for cricket, blue skies and gentle breeze. The Indians are waiting now to play the West Indies. A signal from the umpire, the match is going to start. The cricketers come on the field, they all look very smart. You know the rest. Irapali Prasana, Gigi Boy and Wadeka, Krishna Murphy and Vishnu Mankad. Them boys could well play cricket. On any kind of wicket, they make the West Indies team look so bad. We was in all kind of trouble. Joey Carew pull a muscle. Clive Lloyd get about three run out. We was in trouble without a doubt. Sing the chorus. Gavaska, the real master. Just like a wall, they couldn't out Gavaska at all. Not at all. The West Indies couldn't out Gavaska at all. That is all I do for now.